Number 32, consider a battery made from one half cell that consists of a copper electrode in one molar CuSO4 solution and another half cell that consists of a lead electrode in one molar PbNO32 solution. And then we have letter B. In this question, it says, what are the reactions at the anode, the cathode, and the overall reaction? Okay. So since this is part B, I am taking some information from part A, and that's basically all of this math here. Now in part A, we already decided what the cell potential was, the standard cell potential. Keep in mind that batteries are always going to be a positive voltage, um, and those are galvanic cells, so batteries are always spontaneous, always have, has a positive E cell. So we did the math between the cathode and the anode to find out which one gave us the positive information. And because we did that information, we're now able to find out what the anode and the cathode was. The cathode for this equation was the one that was linked to the 0.34. That's the copper half cell. Now, the copper half cell has the electrons on the left side. That is always the cathode. If I just maybe move this up a little bit, the cathode, since that's reduction, you're always gaining electrons. That means that the electrons are always going to be on the left side of your equation. And that's exactly what this is showing me. So maybe I'll put cathode is the copper one. So we have Cu2 plus, that's aqueous, plus the two electrons, and that will yield the copper solid. Okay. And now the anode was the negative 0.1262. That's the lead electrode with its charge. But just know that um, anions, or not anions, but the anodes, that always happens with oxidation. And oxidation is when you lose electrons. So technically your electrons should be on the right side of your equation. But on the back of a textbook, they're always going to give you the standard cathode half reactions. So if you need to make this into an anode, you have to flip the equation. So you always flip the equation for the anode. So now the PB, or maybe I'll just say anode, the PB solid is going to be on the left yielding Pb2 plus aqueous plus the two electrons. So we just have the anode and the cathode. We did that all already. And now we just need the overall reaction. Well, the overall reaction is when you add these two half reactions together, hoping that you have the same number of electrons. You could only cancel them out if you have the same number. And in this case, we already do have the same number of electrons, two. So I can just go for it and add these up because those same number of electrons, the two electrons are going to cancel. And then anything that stays on the left side is gonna stay on the left side. Anything on the right side of the yield sign stays on the right side. Now, if you wanna be a little bit more specific, maybe I'll say Cu2 plus aqueous, and you could also give the concentration that it had, right? The charged one comes from the ionic compound. This broke down into Cu2 plus because sulfate is always a negative two charge. This one was a tricky one, but that was one molarity. So I can say one molarity. And then I will say plus the Pb solid. No molarity for Pb solid, only for the ions. Yields Cu solid, no molarity for the Cu solid, that's just the electrode. And then we could do this one more time for the, the lead, Pb2 plus aqueous. And that was coming from the PbNO32, the two crisscrossed up telling me that you have a two plus charge for the lead. And it was one molarity. So I'm just going to say one molarity. And this is your overall reaction. How cool is that? What'd you think? I hope this helped. 
Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. And I hope these videos are easy for you to understand and that they're helping you out with your classes. Check the channel out because we also have physics and math videos on the channel at the moment with more subjects coming your way in the near future. So hang tight. All right, look back at the channel from time to time just to see what we have. Thank you so much for being here and for being part of the community. And I'll be talking to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.